Hey folks, how are you doing? I want to show you something I've been working on last couple days. Uh, had a hell of a time grinding it because this puppy is from a D2 steel. I customized my customized K bar fin again. <laughs> I got tired of it, nobody was buying it, so I figured, you know what, it has a decent shape to make something unique out of it. And uh, I think I nailed it. Check this out, guys. I mean, I think it's sick. I don't know what you guys think, but uh, I think I really know this one. Absolutely in love with it. Absolutely. Check it out. Yellow G10 with the blue, black and blue overlay. Whole new pattern, like kind of you know, I started doing the pattern randomly and then I rounded it off completely so it's nice and round everything. Uh, feels really good in the hand. I was kind of worried because I didn't want this knife to be just a show knife. I wanted to be a user, but I also wanted to do something really different, something really out there. And uh, so I was a little worried if it will create a hot spot, but it actually feels like it's gonna be good. Because I was able to mod it by my hand and now like you know you see the pinky fits there like all the f every finger has its own spot did a little jimping in here again that uh, fancy style now did pretty good I think I'm thinking if I should do it or uh, like keep going up here too but I don't know I didn't, not really need it there you have the nice thumb ram some people don't like thumb rams I do I find them comfortable if you wanna, you know, for all different grips. When you wanna choke up on the on there, it's not in the way. This fits right there. And uh, the hardest part of this was uh, convexing again. It was hollow, a hollow grind knife. You can see that still a little tiny bit left. You see this here, the discoloration. That's that last last hint of what used to be hollow grind you see it there uh, I it just it's horrible it's literally hours and hours just regrinding this D2 steel it's really hard but you know what check this out bites into the wood like there is no tomorrow person. No qu for quarter inch knife not that bad and the beauty of this knife is what I really like it's incredible chopper for the weight and size you know it's kind of small you know it's a big knife it has a four and a half inch blade so it's not small small but it's small considering for for some other survival knives you know outdoor knives uh, it has incredible chopping power and especially now when I change it it has really really uh, no blade heavy oh blade heavy and uh, because of that tilt of the how the handle goes like this you get really really good chopping performance let me see if I can get something on the camera here and this is me doing it on the table you know with literally you see the swings I'm putting into it really nothing and uh, works really well uh, grind looks pretty strong nicely strong I might have to just I'll, I might still spend a little more time to regrinding it to really full high convex but uh, so far very happy really really happy how it works and especially how it came out I think it's really good looking knife I think I what is it? I think I still have a burr here actually yeah, I have to sharpen it up. Oh, so actually it's gonna be even better when I really sharpen it. Sharpen it. Didn't even notice it before. I just finished literally a couple minutes ago. So I still have to sharpen it up. But, you know, I think it looks pretty damn good. I mean, it's really sexy looking knife. I don't know if you guys like yellow. I'm not the biggest fan of the yellow, but I think the combination came out pretty sweet. And, uh... Let's see, maybe I'll try. D2 is pretty, pretty, 
you know it's a tool steel but it's pretty rust resistant like it does have a good stainless steel uh, you know uh, capabilities so I don't know if I will, would be able to do some darker patina that might be nice or if I just polish it completely or maybe a bead blast stone uh, bead blast would be nice on this I'll see or maybe I just leave it tell me what you think guys hope you enjoyed it take care stay safe and remember don't cut yourself